Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Steve Bradley, God's Wordsmith, coming to you with a teaching from Matthew chapter 24. And this one is about war. So here is what's coming. And this is something that Jesus predicted 2,000 years ago plus. And here it is. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And then on the other hand, he also said, Fear not, little flock, that's you if you're a Christian, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The thing is, folks, God has it under control. Whatever you think about developments in the Middle East, in Europe, the rest of the world, you should know that what you see today is part of God's plan. He is the true author of history, and he is the one who controls events. America doesn't control them, nor Russia, nor Iran, nor any leader. And folks, it is no secret that God uses wicked men and women to do his bidding. Although Satan thinks he's in control, he's truly a puppet. The very rage with which the evil one attacks all that is good is what God will use to bring his will to pass. As we approach the time of the end, <clears throat> Jesus said, I think it's in Luke, men's hearts will fail them for fear for what's coming on the earth. Yes, they will. But you, as a Christian, may be afraid of what's coming, but you know that your ultimate future is different. People realize the world is out of control. I read this everywhere. You don't need to be afraid if you're a child of God because you know that whatever happens here is not the end. God is in control of every event. He has a plan, and folks, that plan will happen. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, said Daniel, for wisdom and might are his. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. And for you, folks, he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. And you can have that if you read the word of God and spend time in God's presence. He can show you. The question, of course, that comes up is what's going to happen to me? What about me? Well, you are, uh, you are not in control. Nobody is in control but God. You are like a little boat in the middle of the ocean. The waves may throw you around. They may pour over the sides. But God made the ocean. He has given you your life. And all the days ordained for you were written before they ever occurred. That's from Psalm 139, which I commend to you as one of the great passages about human life. The one thing to which you must hold is the fact that God will lead you wherever you happen to be, wherever you are, whether in Europe or Africa, whether you are in the UK, whether you are in the US, whether you are in Israel, if you're a Christian, God is going to lead you. He's going to direct your steps. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever if you're a child of God. The world is passing away, John said, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Today in this life, he will not leave you. And even if he allows real terrible trials, your future is bright. Whatever's coming at you, 
whatever suffering you may expect, your future is bright. Your life is in his hands, and when you arrive at the gates of heaven, he will wipe away every tear and usher you into his heavenly kingdom. As I remember someone saying many years ago, it's cloudy today, but the future is bright and sunny, and I have a great inheritance. And if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, so do you. May God bless you today and fill your life with joy. This is God's Wordsmith signing off for today.